I moved up here about 10 years ago to open up half of my art studio outside of the city. It felt like the space would offer me the experience of nature, the experience of openness and freedom that I was looking for. The land really spoke to me, and I came up with this idea for a sky-high farm. My intention from the outset was really more coming out of community service and social justice than less out of farming. I was at a time in my life where I was really looking for an outlet for work like that. The one thing I was sure of is that I didn't want another business. And a farming friend of mine just said, if you don't want a business, you're gonna to have to give the food away. I've been lucky enough to work with a great team of people helping me to build the farm out. I've had a lot of help developing all the relationships with the different nonprofit organizations and food pantries and kitchens we work with. We're in our ninth growing season. 100% of the food is donated to different organizations and food pantries in New York State. We concentrate most of our efforts locally with the regional food banks and some smaller food pantries that are operating out of churches and more grassroots local groups. We also work in New York City. The communities that we serve often have zero access to any fresh food. It's kind of a privilege to work on this farm because it's not a business. At least half of farming is probably just moving the product, selling it. We simply pick up the phone and call the food banks, the pantries, and make those deliveries. We're trying to meet the needs of our partners that we collaborate with. When they work directly with farmers, oftentimes it's what's left over, or what's in excess, or what's about to perish. And in our case, we have the privilege of being able to design our operation around what their needs are. After the season is over, we can go back and have conversations about how did it go, did you want more of one thing, less of another, and it's helped inform us and, and definitely changed some of our production. What we've been focusing on is making this operation as regenerative as possible. We've got our vegetable production, we've got our livestock production, the manure that's coming from our livestock is converted into compost which helps fertilize our garden. The scraps from the garden go back to the livestock. And we've layered a lot of different practices to work as seamlessly as possible with as least waste as possible. To have the opportunity to look back a little bit, it's amazing how succinct the whole project is. It's so important for this planet that there's more farming using the same methods that we're using and on the same scale that we're using. And it's so important for our society that this local, fresh, high nutritious food gets into these communities. The way those two projects have become one harmonious project has really kind of been astounding to watch for me.